Okay, I created this video because I found this wonderful free store builder. Uh, there's lots of store builders out there, but most of them either are complicated or you know they have fees right from the start. This one has a free version. The other great thing about it is there's a lot of things you can do with this free version that I'll, I'll, I'll show you later on, but it includes things like um, installing your store on a Facebook page, installing it on a WordPress website. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with it that will not only help you build a store, but help you get free and low cost traffic. So let's begin. First thing you got to do, of course, is go to ecwid.com, equid.com, and you'll come to a page like this. Then you click either get started or sign up, and it'll take you to this page where it asks you for your basic information. All right, so feel free to fill it out through the, uh, a good name and email address, like I'm doing, and, you know, a pretty strong password because, again, this is going to be your store to sell uh, your product online. All right, so create account. Create your account. Save the password. And now it's going through the initial setup for your store. The first thing you want to do is create the store. And again, it'll walk you through most of it, but doing it with me, it'll take you about five minutes. So let's click Let's Go and then create your online store. Now, this is important. It, it asks you if you have a website because, like, as I said, you can also install this store on a website. But if you don't have a website, it gives you the, uh, the ability to install it on a Facebook page. So the, let's click Do Not Have a Website because I want you to be able to install this on uh, a Facebook page. Let's see. Uh, yes. So if you already have a Facebook page, click here. If you don't, click there. Okay. I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook page. So let's say we all have a Facebook page or a website. Now, if you have a WordPress site, you click here, and it'll show you how to install it on a WordPress site. But again, we're going to do this on a Facebook page. So let's click Facebook. First thing they want to do is have permission to install it on your Facebook page. So log into Facebook. And if you already have a Facebook page or a Facebook business page, you can choose it here. Um, and for this, for the purpose of this, we'll I'm going to install it on one of my Facebook pages. Okay. Let's move on to the next step. Okay. So basically, you've 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 the store is already created, but there's a few things you need to do to get it running right, which would be initially adding a product. So all you do is give the product a name, and let's just call this widget one and a selling price. Let's say that this widget sells for $20. And again, with this free um, version, you're allowed to sell, I think, up to 10 or 20 items. And once you reach that level, then you can always upgrade to you know, a paid level. But again, un until you start making a couple of sales, you don't have to upgrade. You can still use the free one as, as long as you want. Um, now, we're going to do this widget and it's always great to have an image of your product. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to create, I'm going to use one of my images as if I was going to sell this product. Okay. So just go to your hard drive and find a picture of the product that you're going to be selling. Um, and I and just like here, you find it online on, on your hard drive and click it and it installs a picture of it. You know, let me change this to, bathrobe. Let's 
$20. Now, if you wanted to add more products, you just click here to add more, and you go through the same thing. Give it a name, a price, and a picture. Once you finish adding all the products, as I said, up to 10 or 20, I'm not sure what it is, but you, you can find out how much it is. And then you can either view it or add more products. But for now, let's just keep building. Next step. Um, this will allow you to install a demo catalog so you can see what your website would look like with, you know, a lot of uh, products in it. And again, that's up to you. You can start off with that and then delete these later on. Um, let's see. Let's, let's, let's do it later. Okay, so we've already added product. Now we're going to customize the store for wherever you happen to be, whatever country your currency is and, and, you, and your weights are. So since we're in the U.S., we're going to leave it as U.S. dollar, and we're, we're, going to, we're going to use it as pounds. If this was incorrect, you'd click Edit and then change it, change the country, the currency, and the weight. Okay, next step. Now they want information on the store itself, like the name of the store, the company name if there is one. It doesn't have to be a company. You can use your personal name. But I would give the store an, a, a name that basically lets people know either what you're selling or a general name, something very, very simple. I gave this one my daughter's name and put high in front of it, so it's Hi Livia. Then you put the company name or your name, a phone number. It already knows what's, where you are, and the address, uh, your address. Okay. So I'm just going to put my name. I'm going to put an address and city. state and the zip code. Okay, and save it. Next thing is shipping, really, really important. If you, felt, if you sell physical products, you'll have to set up shipping so that people can be charged, you know, for the items that, that they're purchasing. If you're selling digital products that they just download, then you, you don't need to have shipping because they're going to be sent to a download page where they just after they've paid for the item, they can get it immediately. So let's say you're doing physical products, because that's a little bit more involved. So let's set up shipping for physical products. The easiest way, to, I think, to do this is to use is to enable United States Postal Service. You can also do UPS, um, and you can also set custom flat rates, which means you could tell the system to charge a certain amount per item, not based on geography. Now this comes in handy for certain types of selling, which we'll get into later on, things like if you're doing a free plus shipping offer um, where you give the item away for free, but you charge shipping. And again, there's a lot of reasons for that, and I'll get into that in another video because free plus shipping is powerful. It doesn't sound like a way to make money, but once you watch the video, I'm going to do one you know, the benefits of doing free plus shipping and where to find items cheap enough that you can do this with where um, you're not just selling, giving away this product and, and having them pay for the shipping. You're also building a list where you can come back later on and offer these people other products. But again, we'll get into that later. But for now, we're just going to enable United States Postal Service. Now payment, so so easy. They've got two different payment choices. The first one is PayPal, and PayPal uh, is the way that uh, most of the eBay stores work. PayPal and eBay were one one company at one at a, at one point, and that's where the majority of the payments were processed. So it's really really simple to use. Stripe is another system that allows you to take credit cards and and you know, it's a little bit more involved than PayPal. So for now, we're just going to use PayPal. You can always add Stripe later on. And again, it's not difficult, but not as easy as, as PayPal. 
So first of all, you have to have a PayPal account. So if you don't have one, really easy to set up. And again, um, I may make a video showing you how to do that, but it's really simple. You just go to PayPal and follow the steps. You know, you have to connect to a, a bank account so that their payments can be deposited inside. And once that's set up, all you do is come back here and add your PayPal email address and click enable. That's it. Now to make sure everything's working, we want to do a test order. So we're going to click test order and it's going to take me to my Facebook store because that's where I installed this. And as I mentioned to you, it doesn't have to be just on Facebook. It can be installed on a WordPress site or other types of websites. So, But for now, we're going to do uh, a purchase. And then we're going to go to checkout. And again, this is right on my Facebook page, the one I use just for demo purposes. And again, I'll show you how to set one up. Really, really simple. And the reason I like to use Facebook is Facebook is a source of free and and or very inexpensive traffic and again we'll get into that later on but I highly recommend you set it up on Facebook and create a Facebook page for it alright so now we're going to do go to checkout it's going to ask you for your shipping information just like you were a, a customer so just put in your shipping information country, state, zip. See, it's got this great drop-down menu, just like any other uh, e-commerce platform. And again, the fact that it's free doesn't mean you're missing out on anything. Again, it, it's, it's basic, but it's a great, great, great place to start, okay? Uh, let's, sorry, where am I? Country, United States. And the phone number. Okay, how you want it delivered. Okay, and now let me explain something to you. Right now, it's just giving uh, fake rates, but when you go in there into the store and you set up weights, it'll actually know how much it's going to charge to ship this item. Okay, um, right now. The person that's buying chooses how they want to ship to you. Right now, we're just using um, United States Postal Service, but if we had also chosen uh, UPS, they'd have that option as well. For now, we're just going to choose that one and continue. And how you want to pay. And there it is. There's the PayPal account I had set up, and it's going to accept a payment, and then that payment's going to be deposited directly into my bank account. I mean, what more could you ask for? All right. So again, it's a pretty simple thing to set up. Let's 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 go all the way. Oh yeah. I didn't tell it to pay with my pay. You can again. The person now has the option of either paying with their PayPal account or any credit card or bank, ATM, Visa, Visa or Mastercard. Okay, that's the beauty of PayPal. They can pay either with a PayPal account if they have one, or or not. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video right now. And then we're going to come back and fine tune the store. All right. So hope you've enjoyed it so far, but there's a lot more to come. All right, now we've already 
place the test order. Next step would be to share the store with friends, letting them know that you're about to open a store. Um, you can share it either through directly through Facebook, and again, again, this is one of the free methods I told you about. Um, you can share it on tweet by tweeting it, or you can get a link to your store and share it any other way you want to on your website or by email to let people know that your store is about is about to open. Um, so I would do definitely do all three, and once you've done that. Let's see. Once you've done that, we're going to go and take a look at the store itself. Okay. By clicking and there's the store with, you know, some bokeh items, but there's the item that I added. Okay. Now, if you wanted to um, promote this, you'd have to get the link to this page or and then advertise that in your Facebook news feed. So you go up to the uh, search box and copy the URL for that page. And again, just go up to the search bar and copy the URL, which would say something like facebook.com forward slash and then the name of your your Facebook page um, and a, a few other digits. Just copy the whole thing and that's your link to this page. And again, that link can go anywhere. You can put that in an email and send it out to all your friends and family and business associates, letting them know about your new widget store. Um, but you can also take it and put it in your news feed. Oh, wrong place. Put it in your feed by just copying and pasting the link that you just copied for your store. And it takes them directly to your page. Now, the beauty of this is once you have that link in there, if they click anywhere on here, it'll take them directly to that page. Um, so I would do something like put in here, uh, visit my new widget store and get your widget now or so whatever. So tell them what it is that you just opened the store and, and what kind of items you're selling and then click post and then the percentage of the people that are your friends will see that link and out of curiosity go there. There's a couple other things you can do to get free traffic to there as well but this is the easiest way. Just get the link, paste it in here and once it's pasted in here you can remove it and just type in the information. Uh, I also like to leave the link in there as well because people have a tendency to click to clicking links because this link will be underlined in blue like any other clickable link. So, you know, if it was me, I would leave the link in there and then above it write in what it is you want to tell them about your store and then click post. And again, it gets posted into your timeline and some of your friends and family that are that have joined you will see this and some of them will visit, some of them will like it, and it'll go to some of the people that they know that you don't even know. So it becomes kind of, it could become kind of viral. All right, so that's, that's, that's way number one. All right, and then I'll come back later on and we'll do another one and I'll show you a couple other ways that I recommend uh, to get additional traffic to your site. All right, so we've shared it, as I mentioned, share, tweet, link. You're still on the free plan, and as I said, you can be on the free plan for as long as you like. Um, now, if you had installed it on your WordPress site, which again, I'll show you how, how simple that is to do, 
when you click here, it'll take you to whatever page you've installed it on your WordPress site. And it's so, so easy. It's, it's so great to be able to do that on a WordPress site. I'll show you uh, one of mine later on. But for now, um, let's see, what else do I want to show you? Now, across the top here is where you, you're going to be able to track things like you'll be able to see your sales. You'll be able to click on here and see every item that's in your store, uh, any promotions that you're doing. Um, they have a place for discount coupons, but you can't use it unless you're doing the up, upgraded store. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do, you know, once you've made a couple of sales, you can go and upgrade to get some of the other features like the discounts, the discount coupons. Um, we've already installed it into the, into Facebook. You can also, it, on the upgraded features, you can get your products listed on Google. You can get it listed in Amazon Product Ads, Yahoo Shopping, Next Tag, Shopzilla, Price Grabber, and the eBay Commerce Network. Um, of course, there's, you know, it's a higher, more expensive plan, and some of these features are paid, but again, it's just going to get you more and more and more traffic by using some of these paid uh, systems. And again, these are just apps that you install into the store and they'll walk you through how to install it and all that stuff. Now, here we, this is very interesting. If your items are, you know, more expensive than, you know, $20, you can get people to, um, get credit with PayPal to be able to buy your more expensive items. And again, that's all you'd have to do is agree to their terms of service, and then this little banner ad will show up, letting people know that they can get more time to pay for the items. Um, and all I gotta do is click here and go through a little question and answer thing, okay, it takes a couple of minutes, and they get approved, and now, PayPal pays you right away, but the person makes payments to PayPal. And again, depending on how expensive the item is, um, will determine how long they're going to make the payments for. But as you can see, there's a lot of things you can do uh, later on to improve this free store. But initially, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to set up a free store, put it on a Facebook page, and start getting traffic. All right? So let's call it a day and I'll get to work on some other videos showing you how to set up a Facebook page for those of you that don't know how to do it and also how to set up and build a WordPress website. I've been doing those for years and I think that that's the way to do it. All right.